I'm just going to demonstrate some of the uh, brushes that we have for the demo. I'm going to create a kind of a, a look like this, um, which I've put on the layer, um, which you can dial up or down the intensity afterwards. So this is a very good way of doing a sculpting session is to put it on a layer, in my opinion. And also another thing, oh, the, the skin surface has been using the DMFX um, textures, the subtilables. So I simply went into the, uh, for everyone's familiar with the surface, I added a, went to the noise, edit, and I added a tileable in there. This is obviously way too big, so, but that's what I did. And then apply to the surface with a morph target of the lower level. And then I brush it out, but I'm not going to do that. But there you go. That's how that was created. So what we're going to do is um, create some not wounds, but scars of wounds. So the interesting thing is that um, we will be doing some uh, a whole set of VMs for for scars that are specific these scars. But you can actually I'm just going to take this out of X. You can actually use the brushes that create a cut. So let's just create a cut at 100%. So this is for a, I beg your pardon, I'm going to do a new recording session, name it Scars. And return. So we have a recorded session and we're good to go this time. And so this is a cut. And this is what we're after. That's great if you were doing a, a a trauma and a wound but we want scars so I'm going to get rid of those and uh, also we have some very large cuts which could also be bullet wounds because bullet wounds are not round unless they hit certain parts of the bodies which everyone does which is incorrect anyhow so what I'm going to do is I'll take that long cut and I'm going to reduce the intensity and I'm going to put it into the positive and then we have a scar of a cut but also we take that off that gives you a different look to a scar because some scars indent in some scars which are more like a keloid scar um, come out the scar sticking out is what I'm after this time so let's just crank up the intensity slightly didn't hit my mark correctly that time but this time I'm good to go bit too extreme for my taste so I'm going to go again just hit the one key which repeats the last stroke so yeah I'm good with that um, let's create another up here one key, repeat the stroke, there we go, yep, making that, so let's do this, um, yet again this is actually for, if I show you what this brush does, it creates a wound like this, um, but we're actually creating a scar. So it could be Let's 
So, then we have that. Uh, one more. That is my favourite part. <laughs> that little bit there. That is love at first sight, that bit. And this part that I didn't like is soon becoming the contender for the best part of it. But anyway, I could keep going, but I'm not going to, because I'm going to jump out of the um, vector displacement to hit it with the standard brush. And I'm going to look at a scar alpha here that's very simple, but quite effective. Uh, there you go. Crank down the intensity slightly. But what we're looking at is a final stage, which is going to really help sell this because I'm almost done. Getting a bit why so serious. That could be what we're after. Always like to have it go across the nose. Should I put it on the lip? Of course we will. Not to sell it. It's being a little bit authentic. Just a cup of like some of these. I've done the head. Obviously a bit of a warrior, this character. But at the moment, perhaps looking too scarred. So, what do we do? Get the wolf brush. Well, that's the beauty of working this way: is we can get out the recording session, and we can start. No, oh, no, we can't. So I need the record layer on to really work. And just, just tease this out here and there where it's looking. But it depends what kind of style you're looking at and how you want it to read. But that is not bad. Taking it a little bit further, what would I do? I would probably look at something like this at all. This alpha. And look at the stroke let's take the step up a bit yes that's it Again, that's looking a little contrived, so we need to, to step that up. Hit it again one last time. That's enough to tell a story. Yet again, I think this is obviously this is too much for one character, possibly, but it depends what the kind of look you're going for. Um, you would probably simply take out some of these um, but that's you know down to the kind of design you want to do uh, done bye